Let's take a look at some of the various simulation techniques you can use to develop and debug an FPGA VI. I have a sample project open here. We're looking at the block diagram and the front panel. The FPGA target needs to be set to simulation mode, and we can do that by choosing the execution mode. All right, let's get started. First thing I'll draw your attention to is that any uh, FPGA I.O. node that would be generating a signal simply generates random values. I'm going to try out some of the functions here. Probably the most obvious debugging technique to look at signals would be to create an indicator as needed. So we might create, say, a temporary indicator to observe some signal in the VI. Remember to take these out before you compile to a bit file because they do require a certain amount of FPGA resources. Execution highlighting is a useful technique. In this case, we see the little dots moving around indicating the current uh, wire that's being evaluated and propagating data. And you can hover your cursor around and probe the values Single stepping is useful to slow down the activity so that way you can take one step at a time and then concentrate on studying the results of that particular step. And with the wire values retained, you can then probe around on, uh, on each step. Let's take a look at breakpoints next. Each time the wire is evaluated where you have a breakpoint set, execution pauses, and then you can uh, do single stepping or probe around as needed. Push the pause button to advance until uh, or advance execution until the next time the breakpoint is encountered. All right, let's right-click on that and choose Breakpoint and Clear Breakpoint. Sometimes you would like to be able to pause execution when a particular condition is reached, and the custom probe is useful for this. You can specify a condition such as when the counter value equals some number, like 144, for example. Now when you run the VI, it will execute until that condition is met, in this case the counter value reaching that value of 144. All right, the final technique I'd like to illustrate to you is the sampling probe. And this is where we can view things like Boolean data or other data types as waveform plots. We'll add a number of sampling probes. Generate some activity. And then we can look at the entire data that was collected. That was zoomed to fit. You can then zoom into a subregion. And you can also display the FPGA clock. In simulation mode, it is cycle accurate, so what you see relative to the FPGA clock is, in fact, correct. Let's generate some more data with some activity on the LED0 signal. With the cursor, then, you can jump to the next transition. That's kind of a helpful technique. We can then zoom in about the cursor itself. Or again, you can s select a specific time range and zoom in on that. You can also set a sampling probe on non-Boolean type signals. And here we see the counter values. You can easily rename the probes. And you can move them around and reorder them.
And of course you can delete them individually or if you're all done, you can delete the whole works.